gets hit by it, even light. But it's crazy how consistent he is with that move. It's yeah. So, I feel like it's so predictable. Like, yeah. It covers so many options. Yeah. You know what I mean? Roll, because here's the know. thing, you might want to jump against that option, but then you get hit by that, that forward air. You know I mean? Two links forward air, it does hit pretty hard. So. Yeah, it's kind of like a catch-all kind of situation. That's, I think, Omicron's biggest threat. Game does let you have it. Options. And as we're seeing right here, like, he really, like, that stock is really crucial because now he's, like, taking that extra credit to the bank. Not only that, but it's forcing, it's forcing Gary to approach. And I feel like, as two, like, you have so many quick options, like, forward tilt, down tilt, yeah. like, up tilt, something that, that not only help you, like, start off combos, but yeah, just do so much up. damage. And on the notion of damage, I mean, 107 on Gary, this isn't, like, unwinnable for Gary. But, like, it's it's tough. quite the deficit. Another Omicron classic right there, I mean. Exactly. Tri-State Twister. <laughs> <laughs> Tri-State Twister. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like how Gary's still playing it patient, even though he's behind. He's just like, yeah. even though he's down the whole stock, he's still playing it. Like, he's not overextending, not being too impatient. And yeah. I think that's really good, just for building a foundation of just solid neutral, so that maybe a comeback is possible. But either way, like, you still have that next game to also make a statement if you. You know, yeah, well. I, I definitely agree. I mean, like. When, when you're playing a character like Violet and you're at a deficit, it's definitely difficult to come back because you're going to be looking for, you know, stage control because Violet yeah. thrives off of, like, central stage. No pun intended. Uh -huh. Um, but, uh, it's like, he has so many moves that just outrange everyone. It, yeah. It's crazy how much space, like, how many, like, get off me options he has. Right now, Avic Bob seems to just, it's just in his face right now. It's in Gary's face. Yeah. But as we're trying, oh. Okay, I like the oh <laughs> no shot. Who thinks of that? <laughs> oh okay. You know what? Just keep holding on, man. Exactly. I love to see it. And now it's even stocks. All of a sudden, I mean, Amikov is up 115 percent. But anything's possible, man. This Maybe that cool. happens again. Who knows? But that try to say twist is gonna come through and uh, put him in the off stage situation. Mm -hmm. Well, coming back up to stage, I like how he's holding onto the the bomb just to like in, in case like he's not able to come back or yeah. if he actually gets on the stage. And there's a bonus. Oh no way! No. Okay, no, this is actually you cannot sleep if you're Omic Bob at all. This is okay. Actually, that okay, that's it. it. Yeah. 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 I mean, I feel that's like that was good though, DI man. from Gary as well. Um, that's close. I mean, it's a. You're a pilot. You have to go for like stuff like that, especially uh -huh. when your opponent is not expecting it. And you could definitely tell that Omic Bob was not expecting. Oh no! Oh, I got hop off. Uh, Tony, literally, literally crying right now. <laughs> so sad. We will we'll commentate later. I guarantee. I'll try. I'll try uh, commentating. Uh, Absolutely. Have a good one, man. Can I play Pharaoh? Yeah, he got knocked out. Three, two, bro. one, go! No, thank you. Oh, hello, Tony. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Yeah. So, to, to give you a bit of a recap, uh, Omic Bob took uh, game number one. Okay. Um, actually, Gary was pretty close to taking it. Um, initially, he was down by 150%, but he got an up into a down air that could have potentially spiked or killed him like um, on top of the stage. So, right now, Gary's at a deficit, but uh, we're going to Hollow Bastion. Okay. And, uh... What's the uh, the game count right now? It's it's one zero. One zero in Ob Bob's favor. Okay, in Ob Bob. All right. So, not super familiar with with this region actually. Do you know? Uh, tell me a little bit about the players. Yeah. So Ob Bob is um, he plays extremely well in terms of like he can switch his playstyle pretty quickly. He can go from aggressive to passive to playing neutral. Uh, he, he's definitely a very good all rounder. Uh, Zoom link and. Uh, Gary, not necessarily a known uh, player in New Jersey, um, but he's a really good pilot. He plays uh, his um, he plays range pretty well, and 
Once he has stage control, I mean, like, it, it he's, it's smooth sailing from, uh, from there for him. But from what I'm seeing, when he's at a deficit, he struggles against him. And I mean, I imagine, you know, Byleth not exactly the most mobile character. Probably really hard to get around these mm -hmm. projectiles. And from the five seconds I've seen so far, it seems that Optic Bob is really good at confirming this bomb, which is, Absolutely. of course, one of Toon Link's big strengths as a character. Mm -hmm. I, I, okay, against the up air, a very crucial stop yeah. to take. I mean, it's it's still close, still winning, you can still get that damage back. This Violet's damage output is actually crazy. Yeah, and not only that, the ability to kill at such low percent is going to get the uh, up B into the side B, that air bar. Yeah. Really good, 33%. I mean, <laughs> you need any percentage you can, especially when you know you're down a game and you know, maybe your mentality is shocked a little bit. But gets Obic Bob off stage. Gary actually hasn't been able to uh, ledge trap or uh, go for an edge guard against Obic Bob, and that's courtesy to Obic Bob's uh, amazing recovery game, especially with the bomb. He's using bomb extremely well right now. I yeah. mean, like it's crazy how well he's using. I mean, yeah, especially with the fact that Obic Bob really hasn't had stage control for much of this, and yet still seems to be doing fairly well in neutral. I absolutely agree. Gary gets the dash attack. Oh, back and tear. Doesn't get much. Right, back, gets... back, 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 Aaron. <laughs> I like to call that the Omnic Bob Classic. <laughs> he loves to go for the up beat, um, right on ledge. It catches so many options. Is yeah, just correction, it is a 1-0 game right now. Omnic yes. Bob in favor and slowly the percent climbing here on Gary. That last Earthquake hit of the Nair though, saving Gary oh, from any further I, punishment. And Unfortunately, Violet does have a pretty laggy moveset because you can you see him going for like back air tempers and all that like forward air. I feel like if it was just a little bit quicker on like a different character, you definitely would have gotten that and taken the sock off. But I think oh. Bob does yeah, but really well with the strap. Gary, I don't think they have a jump right now. The bombs just surrounding Gary right now. It's such a big deficit, and you know. If Optic Bob gets him into a ledge situation, you know that Uppy's coming out. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. It, 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 you got to be careful with that. It, it's and not to mention, but like Violet also has, you know, a tether Uppy, so he can definitely just, you know, kind of just lay back and take that. But the four are gonna take that game, so now it's 2-0 to Optic Bob. Yeah, unfortunately, that that miss snare from from Gary really hurt him, put him in a bad position, that shield was already low, and essentially forced the option out, had to do something. He jumped, and Omic Bob, perfect read of the jump, mm -hmm. and gets the forward air, close it out.